and uh, Thomas Göttel is at home in Bischofshofen in uh, Austria so best wishes to you had a, a message from uh, Laurian on Harry with regard to the question that I asked um, about who won three Olympic uh, gold medals in judo in a row and um, it wasn't Tani it wasn't uh, Tamura and um, Peter uh, Robbins also sent a message and it uh, I'm afraid it wasn't Mark Hazinger. So we've got a couple of people having some pot shots at the answer, but um, those weren't the people. It wasn't Tamara and it wasn't uh, Hazinger. And um, just to help you along, uh, it's a it's not a difficult one <laughs> if that's any help <laughs> Elkan Rajabli now from Azerbaijan is up against Guillaume Elmont Elmont gets his second warning he picks up a penalty for passivity so it's the uh, sorry it's uh, Rajabli who picks up the penalty Elmont uh, takes the lead with a Yuko sending um, uh, a message to Kurt Kelleher uh, from Graz. Kurt, shame, shame you can't be uh, with us. I know Graz isn't that far, but maybe you're working or you're busy. And Kurt, you've got the right answer, as has Amin. Uh, Amin, I'm not sure of your, your, your surname. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go at it in a minute when I've read it a couple a couple times more <laughs> so. I'm gonna th I think it's Amin Belafki looks like that to me and you too have got the um, the right answer as has uh, Christine Koch Christine thanks for your message as well and uh, Hope you're enjoying the um, the transmission, Dari. I know you are interested in watching some of the uh, the Hungarians, but um, it's not Tani. Guillaume Elmont now leads by Wazari. Vajabli not able to come to grips with um, the Dutchman. I don't think that, um, I mean, I've seen this uh, lack of proper strategy when it comes to penalties, especially for passivity. And um, the fighters take too long to grip up, too long to get to action, and they pick up a warning. Well, it's also possible, perfectly possible, and it happens quite often, that the referee will penalize you for um, excessive defensive gripping. So if you are not taking a grip, you'll also pick up a penalty. So Elmont has just had the one warning, and that was for passivity. But he 
is looking positive. He wants to take a grip. But uh, Rajabli, well, he's got his own way of working at it. And as far as the scoreboard is concerned, it's not working out because he's a Wazari down. Not a bad attack there, but failed, blocked by Elmont. Hello to um, Andres Zalaznik in Slovenia. I don't know, where is uh, Sankaku? Is that a club? I think that's a club in uh, Slovenia. And uh, Andrej has got the, uh, the right answer. So has our friend in the Ukraine, Sergei Popov. Look forward to seeing Popov on the, uh, on the tatami soon. Mitya, did you see uh, Aliat, Aliash Sede and uh, um, Robert Kravchik? Sede won, yeah? Again by the Shidos, so unfortunate. Well, they know each other really well. They're very evenly matched, so Kravchik and Sede would have been a match a little bit like the one we're watching at the moment very tactical so maybe it's just as well we we didn't see it but the winner of that contest was the Slovenian Alia Sede so he's into the next round well hello to Mark B in uh, Great Britain yeah and I am um, I agree with your comments on, on the amount of tape that was used in that uh, Hugo Legrand Christoph Folk match on map one earlier on in the under 73 kilo category. Shake of hands from uh, Rajabli 